Universal Studios Florida. It's WMAC Masters. Before the Grand Masters of the World Martial Arts Council, Carmichael Simon, as his initiation, shall now demonstrate his form, Flight of Freedom. Demonstration, Wallace. The World Martial Arts Council bestows master status upon Carmichael Simon, key symbol, Kid Carmichael. Prepare for competition. Carmichael's great. Yeah, it's not bad. Come on, finish it. Hey, who's Carmichael up against today? Uh, Richard, <laughs> good luck. Hey, Yin Yang. Here, the kid's getting his first key symbol today. Over my dead body, he will. Tough up there. Yeah. They're the world's greatest martial artists competing for the ultimate prize. Olympus. The machine. Superstar. Red Dragon. Great Wolf. Tiger Claw. Panther. Tsunami. Star Wars. Turbo. Their quest. Reach full dragon belt, then go for the dragon star itself. The World Martial Arts Council presents WMAC Masters. Hi, everyone. I'm Shannon Lee from the World Martial Arts Council Arena. Our first preliminary match of the day finds the newest member of WMAC Masters going up against a seasoned veteran. Kid Carmichael drew a tough opponent for his inaugural match. Former Dragon Star Challenger Richard Brandon, Yin Yang Man. The winner will face either Willie the Bam Johnson or Tiger Claw Johnny, Johnny Lee Smith, Smith in, in the, the Battle Zone, Zone final. final. So the kid's got to take on Ying Yang's first time out? Ooh, tough way to have to start. Yeah, he was telling me he wanted someone easy like Tsunami. Hey, I heard that. <laughs> Just kidding. You know, I tried to give the kid some advice, but he didn't want to listen to any of my tricks. <sighs> You're a good man, Panther. Well, it's probably something I warned him about. Oh, yeah? What's that? Looking for answers in all the wrong places. Uh-oh. Story alert. <laughs> It was a week before my Dragon Star match against Turbo. I decided to return to New York to train with my old sensei, Master Fu. He always brought out the best in me. I think there's another reason you come to see me. As always, he was right. Before me, Master Fu had trained Turbo for years. If anyone knew Turbo's weaknesses, it was him. I've been training my entire life for this match. I want the Dragon Star. Tell me the secret to beating Turbo. At least give me a clue. Her, my son, if the Dragon Star is to be your fortune, the answer you seek is within. Master Fu Wei. You know what to do, Herb. You know what to do. If the Dragon Star is to be your fortune, the answer you seek is within. Within the fortune? You know what to do. Two o'clock. 95.5. Lunch on you today. What the heck did that fortune mean? Two o'clock, 
It's exactly 2 o'clock. 95.5 WPLJ New York. I'm Scott Shannon. And I'm Todd Pettengill. Herb Perez is listening to the broadcast right now. Todd, give him the message. Go to the phone. You gotta go to 72nd and Broadway by 2.20 and don't be late. By the way, Herb, good luck with your Dragon Star match this week. And here's a song for you. That's how it all began. The fortune cookie message didn't give me any answers. Instead, it provided the first in a series of mysterious clues that were left for me all over town. Hopefully, one of them would hold Master Fu's secret on how to beat Turbo. By the way, Herb, good luck with your Dragon Star match this week. And here's a song for you. That's how it all began. The fortune cookie message didn't give me any answers. Instead, it provided the first in a series of mysterious clues that were left for me all over town. Hopefully, one of them would hold Master Fu's secret on how to beat Turbo. Somewhere there's an answer Out there on the streets I've got to find the reason To why my heart beats Can I climb the ladder And make it to the top Do I have what matters To give it my best shot I saw more of New York City that day than ever before in my life. I found the clues all right, but none of them brought me any closer to discovering Master Fu's secret to beating Turbo. The final clue led me right back to where my day-long quest began, Chinatown. Master Fu, what's the meaning of this? You sent me all over town on a wild goose chase, when all I wanted to know was how to beat Turbo. Herb, the answer you seek is within, not within the fortune cookie, within you. Many times you are told that you already know what to do, but you chose not to listen. As always, Master Fu was right. It turns out he was trying to teach me a lesson. Master Fu reminded me that one of the main points of the Dragon Star is self-confidence. Working hard and believing in myself. That's not only the secret to beating Turbo, it's the secret to succeeding in life. Oh, Hub, one more thing. This, the answer you seek, is within. I've kept this fortune for this very day. Oh, yeah? What's it say? A victory is not won unless it is earned. Mm -hmm. Good fortune. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're just about set for our first preliminary match of the day. It'll take place right outside the World Martial Arts Council Arena at the Danger Dock Battle Zone. Richard Brando, key symbol, yin-yang man, dragon belt status, five belt two. Richard will face off against the newest WMAC master, fresh out of the academy. Carmichael Simon, key symbol, kid Carmichael, dragon belt status, zero. Ninjas, begin. Watch the power bars at the sides of the screen. Yin-yang man's on the left, kid Carmichael's on the right. The lower an athlete's key symbol drops down the power bar, the closer he is to losing the match. Ninja, disengage, one-on-one, 
MAC bylaws are clear. If any athlete appears to be unable to effectively continue in the competition due to any extenuating circumstance, victory is handed to his opponent. I would have to say that Yin Yang Man's getting drenched is definitely the type of circumstance the council had in mind when they wrote that rule. Hey Chris, do you realize the kid may get a victory his first day out unless um, Tiger Claw or the BAM stops him? Hey, Johnny. Good luck out there today, man. How you doing, Eric? Excuse me. Now entering the World Martial Arts Council Arena, Willie Johnson, Key Simple, the BAM Martial Arts Discipline, Wu Chu. The BAM is performing with a special weapon he made himself called the Willy Whip. He grew his hair for five years, then cut it off to make the whip. Willie's working on growing a second weapon now, and has vowed this time not to cut his braid off for ten years. for our second match of the day. Willie the Bam takes on Tiger Claw at the Mayan Mystery Battle Zone. We'll be back to Universal Studios Florida for all the action. We're at the Mayan Mystery Battle Zone just moments from the start of our second preliminary match. Tiger Claw, Dragon Belt status, six. The BAM got his nickname from the ki he yells when he makes contact with a ninja. The BAM, Dragon Belt status, five. This crowd is ready for some action. Camel Warriors, begin. The rules are the same as our first match. The power bars will tell you who's in the lead. Tiger Claw's on the left and the BAM's on the right. Disengage. 
One on one. Begin. Great takedown by Tigercloth. He's way ahead on the power bar. Victory for Tiger Claw. He hasn't had any luck since being knocked out weeks ago by Great Wolf. Now he's heading for the Battle Dome Finals. Kid Carmichael Simon makes it to the Battle Dome Finals in his very first day of competition, but he's got to contend with a very confident looking Johnny Lee Smith. Battle Dome, Finals, Johnny Lee Smith, Tiger Claw, Carmichael Simon, Kid Carmichael. In this two-minute match, the athletes must try to force their opponent into the frame of the cage. If they hit it, you'll know it. The athlete also scores a point if their opponent is forced against the steel frame by a ninja. When time runs out, whoever's in the lead wins. <laughs> is probably wishing he could crawl out of the cage right now like he used to do as a ninja. Oh! Carmichael gets right back into the action, but knocking Tiger Claw down doesn't count. He's got to hit the cage. Three, zero. with his superior size, strength, and experience. Carmichael may have graduated from the WMAC Academy, but he just got a major lesson from Johnny Lee Smith. Carmichael's 720 spin kick scored him his only point, but finesse was no match for intimidation. Listen, if you had to go head-to-head -head with Tiger Claw your first day out, you'd have this look on your face, too. By order of the World Martial Arts Council, the key symbol of kid. Carmichael Simon, representing Wushu, shall now be added to the Dragon Belt of today's winner, Johnny Lee Smith, Tiger Claw, representing Shorin Ru. Hear now the ceremony of the Dragon Belt.
a much needed victory for Johnny Lee Smith. His first big win since he was knocked out cold by Great Wolf weeks ago. As for Kid Carmichael, an impressive debut against some tough competition. Next week, superstar Ho Sung Pat goes for full Dragon Belt and ultimately a chance to take on Olympus for the Dragon Star. We'll be right here with all the action. Until then, I'm Shannon Lee. See you next time on WMAC Masters. Filmed at Universal Studios Florida, where you can ride the movie.